Um, but let's get it. This is Enterprise Earth, Death Magic. It's a long song, seven minutes, so get your popcorn out. Let's see what it's about. <laughs> Was that the blur? Oh. Uh-oh. Here we go. He's got a Tom Barber vibe. Let's go. Cool. That was cool. Oh. Okay. Here we go. Ah, guys are fun. I think the last time was really long too, like this. Cool sense. Woo. They even had some clean singing in there, like yells, yells, clean yells. <laughs> Oh, there's no request today, man. Just checking out some single picks. What's going on, though? Welcome to the stream. Ooh, that's cool. Different. <laughs> Why did that drummer look so happy drumming that part? Yeah, that's a good fuck. Okay, here we go. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, what a transition. I really like the screams. I mean, Dan Watson was really good. He still is. But I, I really adapt to his screams in this. Ooh. I mean, for a seven minute song, I kind of expected a solo from these guys. I think they did it in the last song too.
I love the rhythm in this. What's up, Soyon? How are you today, man? Oh, I really like these cleans in this. I know Metal Burp's gonna talk about it in his video, I think. Oh, two step. You here for the phaser? More. I want more. Give me. He's bleeding. <laughs> Here we go. Mm. Oh. Damn. That was cool. Oh, he ain't done. Wow. What's up, jump boy? Yo, did you know your name is not a genre? Oh, this is fun. Wow. I mean, a really long song, uh, as we already knew that going into that. Um, but, but yeah, John T. Boy, <laughs> Periphery released their their uh, album names and everything, and their, the name of their album, <laughs> and they literally called it Junt is Not a Genre. So <laughs> that's where that comes from. Oh, you saw it? <laughs> um, yeah, this is a really good fucking song. For what it was, I mean, I don't listen to a lot of Enterprise Earth. Uh, there was a few singles from their last album with Dan Watson in it that I really enjoyed. There, there was a couple of singles that I did like the bless the breakdowns. Uh, they did very well for content as well. And that's, I, I feel like that's what happens when I do like, uh, a reel or something or a TikTok on one of these bands, uh, that do very well. Like I, I go back and I watch it and I hear it in the background as I'm commenting and stuff. And that's what kind of gets me into the band again. It's like, okay, like this band's getting traction, this and this, this and that. And then I'll go back and listen to the song again. So they had a couple of those songs on their last album. But even their last couple singles, uh, I don't know how many they have out right now. I think this might be their their last third one or something. I, mean, I don't know. I don't know what they're doing. Let's just leave it at that. Um, but I liked it. The, the last song when they kind of introduced their new singer... I, I enjoyed it. So, yeah, I don't know a lot of their old stuff. Uh, I don't know who was in the band before Dan Watson. I don't know if he's just always been in the band or, uh, yeah, educate me. Educate me in the comments. We'd love to know more about him. Uh, but this was fun. Nice and, like, chunky. Uh, I love the cleans in this. Uh, I, I feel like Metal Bear is going to talk about this a little bit, too, in his videos because he had Kyle Anderson on one of his podcasts and really diving into the, the whole fact of, uh, you know, Deathcore, or sorry, cleans and deathcore is, is a lot of people are just not liking it, and they're like, "No, keep deathcore, deathcore." I personally like it. I like melodies, and uh, when they can throw some screams and stuff underneath it, above it, side to side, fucking in it, whatever. I think it sounds nice. I think it gives it more of a melody, more of a catchy, you know, hook in in their song, and I think that that'll have people coming back to re-listen to it again as well. It's going to be stuck in her head. I feel like this is another factor when you are writing songs. You need a little bit of melody in there or something that just stands out. Um, but they had a couple cool uh, breakdowns in here. Nice and sloppy. Uh, different vocal styles as well. I know Dan can do that as as well in uh, when he was a singer. Um, but I think it's just a good fit. I don't know this band that much. Let me know what's going on with them. Until next time, toodaloo, motherfuckers. Let me know what else I should be checking out by this by these guys. All right, peace.